Hello students. Today let us learn about incomplete dominance. It is usually seen in a plant called as snapdragon, also called as antarhinum. In order to understand this concept, let's go back and revise what we have learned in Mendelian genetics. That is, what is meant by dominant and recessive. So I hope you remember every gene has two copies, and where are they found? They are usually found on the maternal and paternal chromosomes at the particular point called as loci. Now, this gene, like we discussed, have two copies usually or more. And these two copies are called as alleles. As I have expressed here, allele number one is capital R and allele number two is small r. Both of them together would make up a particular trait. Now, one of them as expressed with a capital letter is dominant over the other. What does that mean? It means that in presence of the capital letter one, the other one will mask itself or will not express itself, will not show its effect at all. Now, there are different possibilities of a gene. That is, both the alleles can be of the same type like this or this. Or both of them can be of different types. So if both the alleles are of the same type, you call that as homozygous. And if they are of the different type, you call that as heterozygous. Now, what are we discussing right now? We are talking about dominance and recessiveness. So in case of two alleles, one which is expressed in capital letter usually by us is the one that expresses and the one that expresses is called as dominant allele in a gene. So when we go back to Mendelian genetics, if you remember, whenever we take a true breeding or a homozygous dominant one and cross with a recessive one, we expect such a ratio. What does that mean? If I have a red plant, that is red flower, I am going to use capital letters considering that is the dominant one. And I, if I cross, if I take out the gametes and cross, I would get this as the end result for F1. I hope this crossing is clear to you. In case if it is not, please let me know. I will explain that as well. Now, as you can see here, in all the cases, we got red flowers. If I self-pollinate one of them, I would get the F2 generation wherein, this is the F2 generation, wherein I would find that three of them are red. Whenever I see capital R, it means that the dominant allele has expressed. In other words, in our case, it is the red flower. We get the red trait for the flower. So in three cases, we have red and in one case, we have the white as the phenotype. Phenotype means when you look at it, what do you see? That is called phenotype. So we get the ratio 3 is to 1. And when you look at genetically how they are, the genetic makeup, otherwise called as a genotype, you would get a ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1. That is capital R and R would come only once, capital R small r would come twice and small r small r would come once. So that is why we got this ratio. That is a Mendelian genetics. Now, this is a scenario called as incomplete dominance. So what happens in this case is, in this case is when you cross a dominant traded flower with a small uh, white flower that is a recessive flower what, what is expected they are definitely expecting capital R and small r like we already looked at here over here this one but the phenotype is different that is the expression of it what you see is different in capital R and small r case of Mendelian genetics we of Observe that whenever capital R is present or the dominant allele is present, it expresses giving the dominant trait. In our case, it was red. However, in case of certain plants like the, uh, the snapdragon, both the uh, traits are not, one of them is not dominant over the other. That means both of them are partially dominant, resulting in a mixture of traits. In our case, Red and white, both are expressed together, resulting in the pink coloration. 
all right now that was for the f1 f1 here instead of all this red we got pink color if we self pollinate them we we still get genotypically this ratio itself capital r r and small r r capital r small r capital r small r the same ratio we get genotypically however with respect to phenotype how would that be you would find that this is red this is pink this is pink and this is white so that means you would get a ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1 i would repeat you genotypically you would get the same ratio same ratio but when you look at it it would not be the same this capital r r would be red capital r small r would be pink and capital r small r would be white what does it mean it means that it means that now our phenotype and genotype ratio in case of a incomplete dominant plant is same i i want you to also look at all these questions and try to answer them if you have understood the concept thank you